Hi. You may know that the healthcare industry is in trouble. In 2001, there were 100,000 preventable deaths in the U.S. Before COVID, that number had reached 250,000 to 400,000. Fortunately, there are a lot of people working on this problem. However, they aren't all working on it together. Traditional healthcare models are structured so that collaboration across professional disciplines is actually difficult. One study suggests that over a third of an organization's performance is directly related to its ability to collaborate. To improve something, it's crucial to have a means with which to measure it. This is where my research begins. I reviewed over 200 instruments related to healthcare collaboration and found that they focused on attitudes, competencies, simulations, and a few outcomes. There was an implicit assumption that uh, doing was a direct function of knowing how. And while this is true, it's a limited perspective. In a much larger sense, doing is a function of the ability or capacity to engage in an activity. Personal barriers to collaboration affect the ability of medical staff to perform well. There wasn't an instrument to measure the capacity for practicing interprofessional collaboration. So, I asked 558 healthcare professionals a series of questions, and using statistical modeling techniques, created a reliable and validated instrument. With 21 questions, the self-assessment measures six areas that affect a person's ability to collaborate. Reconciliation behaviors, clinical outcomes, environment, professional burnout, encouragement, and self-awareness. This instrument can be used to demonstrate specific areas in which an individual or organization excel or struggle with practicing collaborative leadership. It has been observed by others that junior staff don't report medical errors because of fear of reprisal from senior staff. From the literature, we know that leader inclusiveness is linked to power distance, and power distance is linked to psychological safety, how safe you feel, which is linked to the intention to report medical errors. This tool is the final piece needed to directly link interprofessional collaboration to reporting medical errors. A leader with a low capacity for collaborative leadership can't fully use the resources and talents available. Future research will explore how practicing collaborative leadership affects the quality of top-down relationships like those between an attending physician and a resident. Thanks for watching.